Alrighty guys, welcome back. Not sure if this is going to be a video, so if you see this, it's a video obviously. I might look a little bit cool, that does look creepy. Um, we're out here cast knitting. That's actually really good, I can see really well with this light. I hope you guys can as well, I'm not sure if you can. But we'll be cast knitting just for some bait. That's all this is going to be. We already got one little prawn, I'll show you guys. Right down there. Got one prawn. That's the first one of the day. And um, I'll come back if we get anything else. Alrighty guys, um, just been doing some more cars. I'm just taking a little bit of a break because I've been doing it, not for long, like probably five minutes, but I just got a shot. Um, not not bang bang shot, um, but a needle for a vaccine thing. And can you just show the this stuff? Got one, two, three. I thought I got four. I swear I got four more prawns. But I guess I only got three. Can I shine it back at me, please? Um So um yeah. We'll keep aiming for some more. I'm aiming for mullet mo mainly, so then I can fill it them up. Maybe I'll do the filleting process as well in the video. Um for the bait. Or just next video, I'll put it in, I don't know. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'll be back if, uh, when I get some more stuff or if I see anything cool, which I did nearly cast on top of a, um, what is it? Swan. Nearly cast it on top of a swan over there. Sorry, it's pitch black, but, um, nearly cast it right on top of the swan because I thought I heard, like, a big mullet swimming around trying to get all the bait and stuff, like all the little prawns and whatever. But no, I looked over and it actually scared the hell out of me because um, it was a massive, not a mullet, but a massive swan. So it really scared me. So that's good. See you guys back soon. Yeah. All good? Recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. Had to make sure. This is just showing you how to cast it. This is a six foot. Um, good way to open it up pretty much every time. I've... Every time I've passed it, right now, I've been doing it well. Can you see me good enough in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, okay. Pretty much, I just wrap it around a couple of times just to make sure it doesn't come off about three or four times. But make sure it's not too tight because it will hurt you. And obviously, I don't want it to hurt chills. Shake it out, make sure there's no sticks or anything in there because that'll just mess the cast up fully. Hold it about halfway, halfway-ish from my head it's to my waist right here. Grab all the way to the left. Spread that out. So all the way down here I grabbed it from. Bring it all the way up. Open it up and just put it over my fist like that on my right hand. I'm right handed. If you're left handed, do it on the left. Or if you want to try it right, go for the right. And then from the left again. You can see it opens up right there. So it's from down from the left. Open it up just like that. Obviously you won't. Unless you shine the light at the water, you won't be able to see it, but that's anyways how you do it. And I'll just do it and I'll just see if you can get That opened up perfectly. Again, obviously I know you guys can't see it right now. Just let it stick to the bottom. And then pull it out. Oh, I can feel some stuff in there. Hopefully they stayed in there and didn't jump out. Okay. What was that? Oh, nice. Is that fishing line? I think I caught fishing line. Shake it out and spread it just like that. And then I saw things jumping out of it, so I know I got something in there. And I'm guessing it was more prawns, but they did get out, so um, that's all good. I'll do one more just to show you again. We just should be fine if you just leave it like that. Shake, shake, shake. Hold it about the middle. Same thing. Same thing from down at the bottom left. Oh, that one twisted. I'll just do it again. Bottom left. Open it up. Put it over. Just like that. And then bottom left again. And open up just like that. You got a big open area. This time I'll do it off this way. Can you see me in there? Well, not very well. Not great. Not really? A bit. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, something's 
not to go to the other side of the water as well. And again, just a nice. Um, just imagine it being a um, nice big circle. That one didn't open up heaps. But, oh, is that something? What is that? Okay, we did get something. There it is. Oh, it's prawn. Oh, we got two prawns. There you go. I must have gone on to a little bit of a school with them. This guy's way too small, so we'll let this guy go. See how little he is. Chuck him back. But this guy, he's a little bit bigger. Hopefully you guys can see him all right. Oh, and he landed in the bucket. Good on <coughs> Make sure there's nothing else in there. Big shakes. No, nothing else. But there you go, I must have gone on to a little bit of a school with them. I don't call it a school of fish, but I wonder if it's the same for prawns. I'd say so. But that's how you cast me. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Any second now. <laughs> so here. Alright guys, so we just ended. That's how many we got. I just did another big casting over there, showing the light over there. Okay, hold on. All in the water here. I just cast it. And out there a little bit more. There you go, hold this. But yeah, that's how many we got today. I'm gonna let the water out. These guys are gonna be bait for the next time. It's probably I'll freeze them, put them out of their misery real quick. And that'll be uh that'll be about the amount that i'd probably use in a fishing trip i'd say so um yeah i'll see you guys whenever it is i just i just had to show you guys this plant look at that look how beautiful that looks this is just in our garden our front little garden here look how nice that looks a little bit of red with the green on these they're all through there they look so nice Alrighty, welcome back. Since the last clip, that was um, a few nights ago. It was when I was with Louie, my grandma. And um, now we're just gonna fill it on this mullet. We're gonna put it out as a little bit of bait. I just figured I'll show you how I fill them and whatever. Some people start from the tail and um, some people start from where I'm gonna start from. This is just one that we literally just brought. First step is, uh, what's this called again? A fin. I mean, a little bit of a, you know, let's not touch my head with this, that was a little bit gross. Anyways, under the fin, still very frozen, but slice it just like that. I did just sharpen this knife, so hopefully it should be okay. Yeah, it should be all right. And then we do the same under this one, just like this. And before it gets too gory for maybe some of you, skip over this part. I don't know how long it'll take, but skip over it. May not want to see it. And then we're gonna, oh, I just touched his eye, that's nice. Follow it. Around to this one. And then we're just gonna find the backbone right there. It's pretty much in line with these fins, the top ones. The spikies, which aren't fun to get spiked by. And just without hurting yourself, you're just gonna do a nice and light along that. I might actually turn it around this way. Still very frozen, guys. Nah, stuff it this way, it is. Probably should have scaled it first, but oh well. Follow it all the way down. You don't want it to do it too deep. So we're trying to get all the meat as we can. So it's close to the spine. Okay. Move a couple of the scales out in the way. I probably should have scaled it, but who cares? Too late now. I'm already pretty much here. Yeah, you can see all that meat in there if you just want to get a close up. That's so all this is gonna be stuff and anything that we do miss I'm not the best at filleting obviously as you might be able to see from this and now we're just gonna 
all the way down, pushing it down. Like that. Obviously, I did miss a little bit, but we can go over it again. Oh, that's a big bone out there. I'm gonna just cut that bit off like that. And then there's a fillet. But I did miss. Oh, my hands are freezing. Wowza. Okay, well, it's not what I meant to do, but oh well. Let's just try to get a little bit more off. Uh, obviously it's very frozen so that makes it much harder to do also can't feel my hand which doesn't exactly help um oops that's pretty much all the meat there is you hear that that's pretty much all that you can get off of that but we'll go over it once we've done this side and we'll have a look so i'll do this side in a minute and um, I'll show you what the end product looks like. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. Um, we just finished uh, doing this guy. There's still a little bit of stomach and stuff right there. Obviously, the stomach looks very different than it maybe would. This is all the stomach pieces here. You can show them now. But that was the carcass. All this right here, that's all stomach and like liver and all that stuff. So that'll probably be some more art bait as well. This is the big fillet off one side. This is another big fillet. This is one piece, but I cut it into three pieces. Um, and then a couple of other little pieces that I got off and stuff. That can still be used perfectly fine. Um, that's what I got off this one. As you can see, you can see the spine going down there. That's how you know that. <laughs> that's how you know that um, you got all the meat off. If you can see the spine. So what you can do with this now, well, I guess that's kind of perfect that it's bendy like that, is put that in the crab trap, crabs will get sent, and um, hopefully they'll come. So we'll use crab traps, or you can break it in half, and you can put half your half in. That skin's very tough. Like that. Um, some fish, I know you can get some meat out of the head and stuff, mullet. This is just complete bone complete bone nothing in there so can't, probably a little bit more meat but we'll save that little bit for the crabs and whatever give it a little bit more scent but this is a good amount of that's nice looking hands um amount of um meat that we got off of it and we do have another mullet here but we won't be doing that one now there's obviously we're not going to need that much bait also got a packet of prawns we got the prawns that i caught in one of the last clips um with louie when i was cast netting them and we also got some pilchards, just in case. But we probably won't use them or too many of these prawns. We'll try to keep some. And, um, yeah. So, we've got a rod out there right now. And, um, I might even try to cast. This is another alright spot for cast. I think it's just like the other spot. The other spots, this is a big island that we're at. So, you can see water just goes all the way around it. And there's a few bridges that cross onto it. Um, one being right over there, and um, it's just over that side is where the other um, cast netting places that we were at. Me and Mum, I think one of the first clips, and then me and uh, Louie. So, we might get some of this bait on. So far, the prawns haven't got any bites, have they? And no bites. So, I might, like, there we go. Probably a perfect amount, honestly. You just do that, you put maybe one through there, so it's just going through that. And then another one through there. And that will be a good amount of bait. So I'll go do that. And, um, yeah. Wa-bang. I, um, I know I showed you in another clip how to cast net the six foot one. But I figure I'll show you again in case you did miss it. And you, I was lazy to go back. Um, and, uh, this is how you do it. First. We've got a loop right here, bang. In, twist it, it's like that, so then it goes through again, so it's like that. Just so then when it comes off, see? It won't fly off very easily. I do wrap it around one or two more times just to make sure. 
and then just about that much should be about that far and then hold here this is uh the horn i think some people call it i don't know it's the top of the actual netting itself where this is or where the circle one is So, but a bird, it's a bird that I don't even think really swims very much. It pretty much went from right here. You can see the ripples in the water right there. But um, pretty much went. You would have been able to hear it. And um, went the whole way across without stopping. That was very weird. I'm trying to film. Be quiet. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, you go here. I'm gonna make this into a short, but I don't think it'll be as short as a short now. Um, you don't really need to hold on to that, I don't normally, but if you want to, you can, it's up to you. And then, half, like that, hold this half, I was saying about, from my head to my waist is about how much I like to do. Um, that leaf won't really mess up much, but, um, down from the left here, let's bring it up. Don't mind the little patchwork there that we had to do, because there was a bit of a hole. But I'll just get a little bit new bit there. From the left, bring it up, open it up like that. And it's open. Put it over your wrist like that. Everything in this hand, you can do some weights like that. Open it just one time, and then you're good to go pretty much. So just think about it, think of it as being a circle. And just slowly, bang. Didn't open up perfectly, but it opened up enough. Let's sink. I don't know if there'll be much here. I've never cast netted here before. And again, about that same amount. Slowly bring it up. Doesn't look like I've got anything in here, but that's all good. Oh, we've got heaps of bait, obviously. If any, if I got anything, I would have just let it go anyways, but it's worth a try. It's always good to cast net. And um, so that's how you do it. This is a six foot cast net. Good luck, have fun. See you soon. In one second for you, however minutes for me. Goodbye. Guys, we just saw a bunch of broom down here. You stay there. Where are they? There's no way they got out of that. What? That was the perfect circle. There was two in them and one on the side maybe. Oh, it's really annoying. Guys, it's a lizard. I thought it was a fish, but it's a lizard over there. Oh, I know there's heaps of fish right here, man. It's a good sign. You know what? I'm gonna lure. Just hold on, don't turn that off. Let's see if I get it. The lure might be a little bit big for him, but. Good thing we changed spots, eh? They were just really close to us a second ago. Just straight down. I thought this lure might be a little bit big for him. This is the whole production's prawn. Just in yabby colour. I nearly stabbed myself. Just in yabby colour. So we'll put some bait on it and we'll cast in there. Well, under there, I should say. 
Mum's being the fisher girl right now. Oh, you just got a bite. How good timing was that? Did you only hook it on one time or? I went from the tail through. Oh, okay. The normal way. My normal way. Yeah. Your normal way. Is that another bite just then? No, I think I was just moving. Guys, the thing, the tip's right there if you guys can't see it. This is the bridge we're fishing under. Can't really exactly get all the way under it, but it's all good. Come back if we get any more bites. I just stopped recording and then mum got... Oh, there you are, there you are. If you get that type of one again, you pull on it. You guys can see it right there. Yep. Yep, she's on. Good on you. Good on you, mum. That was perfect. Exactly how you should have done it. Just a little baby brim, guys, but hey. Better than none. Oh, it is a really little baby, baby one. Come on up, little baby. Very nice one, Mum. Good on you. Want to cook him up? <laughs> no, we're not going to cook him up. I'm kidding, guys. Yeah, he's probably 10, 12 centimeters at the most. On him. There he is, is right there, guys. Just Perfectly there. hooked. You can see that's mum's hand right there. Just a it's very small. Oh. Good job, mum. Thank you. Good job, mum. Yep. Hi, guys. I just cast it out. Ah, oh, that's a nice size. Look at them. Oh, do you see the little broom come along? I don't know if that would have picked up on camera. <laughs> that's much nicer. That technically could be capable, but I'd rather see if I get an even bigger one. We'll measure him and see. Okay, guys, he is 26 and a half. That's probably not perfectly straight, but you can see right there. 26, over 26, so he is a keeper. Shall we keep him? Nah, okay. You won't get much meat off of him. But there we are. I'll go release him. Good on you. Thank you. Ready? Set. Wah. And there you go. Straight out there. Mwah. Alrighty. Oh, so much fluff. Look at all that. Oh well. Won't matter. So how mum did it. How she was meaning through the tail. She just did it like that and put it all the way through like that. I don't normally do that. Sometimes I do but normally I don't. Normally what I'll do is I'll put it in at the head or tail first, just like that, and then go down to the other side like that. And then just pose out like that. So, I'll go over here. You want to come with me? And not fall in, preferably. Get a bit close. Kind of there. That's where I got my last one, pretty much right there. Is that a broom down there? No, it's not. So, you just keep recording because I want to see how quickly I can get a bite. I think that little broom actually spiked me a little bit. Not much, just on my finger a little bit poked me. Might have been a little hole in the glove or something. But they're camera shy. It's funny, when I got that one, Mum just sat down on the chair. She just set up her chair and I cast it out as she just sat down. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little tug. Oh, oh. And then I got the fish on. Like that. Oh, that was a little something. Tighten it a little bit more. Like tiny. It was like a little 
Just like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm just going to cast and hope that they're still just right there somewhere. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Huh. I was speeding too much. And it's also twisted. I saw a bunch of um, little gar. That was me. Had a good bait. Yeah, see that? Twisted right there. You know what? <laughs> Stuff it. If I see something more come past again, then I'll do it. <sighs> Don't judge. Okay, I was trying my best. Okay. I blame it on the wind. There's no wind, just so you guys know. But I'm gonna blame it on the wind still. I also don't feel any bait on you. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you're facing the water enough, but I was bringing it in. See where the bubbles are right there where it like pushes to the ground. It's a sinker, I mean. It, um, has a, some fish on it right there. Damn, those would have been so good for bait as well. Or at least just to show you guys, but all good bait is gone as you guys can see i'm filming now mum's getting some more bites guys i had another go and i didn't get anything don't mind that last cast net by the way guys um you know that oh you see that guys Let me zoom in a little bit for his, okay, or not. There you go. Oh, look at the baby. Was that another one? Oh. Sometimes they look like one. <laughs> look at her head. <laughs> Whoop. Any more bites? Nope. Every time it moves slightly, I always want to say, is that a bite? Is that a bite? What are you snagged on? Nope. Oh. Let's see how good mum is at getting a snag yet, guys. She should know from how many times I've showed her. But we have to see. Good on ya. Good on ya. I'm proud of you. I taught you well. Thank you, no bait. That's all good. We might pack up soon, do you think? Alright. Yeah. Alright. There we are, mummy got another fishy. Another beautiful yellow fan this time. Oh, it's heavy. Is he now? Yeah. Ah, splattered on my face. <laughs> Good job, mum. Thank you. Here he is. He's probably, probably about 26 as well, to be honest. What a good one.